All right, um, suppose I want to find the coordinates of n. As you can see, n is placed over here. And it is the midpoint of MC. M is also the midpoint of A and B. We use the midpoint formula by adding the two x values and dividing it by 2 to get the x value of the midpoint. We then add the y values, divide it by 2, and get the midpoint y value. The formula is basically for the midpoint of any line is given by x1 plus x2 divided by 2. That's the x coordinate of the midpoint y1 plus y2 divided by 2. That's the y coordinate of the midpoint. The first point we're going to find is m. So we're going to take x and 7, add it up, divided by 2. And we'll get m to become 1 plus 7 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. We then take the y values, which is negative 2 and 3, divided by 2, and we end up with 1 over 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1, so 1 divided by 2 is a half. So therefore, this coordinate here will be 4 and a half for the y. We can now use the m and the c and repeat the same process, finding the midpoint of the mc, which is n, and that will give me the answer for n. So to do this, we would say n will become 4 plus 4 divided by 2, half plus 6, which is 6.5, divided by 2. We can use a calculator, we can use decimals as well. 4 plus 4 is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. 6.5 divided by 2 is 3.25. So I can also simplify this if I want to. 6.5 divided by 2, which 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13 over 2, divided by 2, multiplied by half, which is 13 over 4. Right, so you can see quite clearly that this would be 4 goes into 13 three times, so 3.25 looks correct. And then I found the coordinates of n using the midpoint formula part of coordinate geometry.